All right, welcome back to the shop. We've had a very successful bending situation. Uh, that series was a short little series of building that bending machine. Um, and I like it. This was the test that was immediately successful and I'm kind of surprised that first try worked right off the bat, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, so we're ready to do the real sides. Um, and one thing I found I had trouble with on this one was getting the waste in the right spot so that there was enough left over here, but also enough here. So when I put this into the mold, it's about a quarter inch shy of the center cut here and about an inch and a quarter too long on this side. So what I need to do is change up. I need to work out how first. I need to figure out how to get the I need to figure out how to get the position of the waist because there's a slot in the machine and I can locate on the waist and just determine how much of this to stick out. But it's curved. Um, how much of this to stick out of the machine so that when I go to bend it, it puts this back a little bit, leaving me room over here. I just basically shift the whole, the whole bend down, down this way a bit or shift the, the straight stock down a bit so that the bend actually shifts up forward a bit. I know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> But anyways, so you can see right here, this is the center, the split line, the center line, and there's just a lot of, uh, there's just a lot of extra there that would get cut off. So I might as well shift it so that down here, we're not over this center line. So that way when it shifts, I'll get, you know, closer to like a, about a half inch over, I'm hoping. Um, so what I'm going to do and how I will do that, it's kind of tough to take a, a tape measure, you know, and figure that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bending form or the mold and I'm just going to take some tape and I'm just going to put it inside. I'm going to make sure I've got them absolutely long enough. So I'm going to take this tape instead of only going to the middle to the waist zone. I'm going to I'm going to go all the way up to the other end where the, the heel is and we're going to get a sense of just how long a board it takes. It's tough to do this with the, uh, with the roll outside of the mold, isn't it? There we go. It's probably easier if I just lay it down, huh? Yes. So now I've crossed the center lines on both of these here. If I cut right down the center of this, like so, to this side. There we go. And that should you can see it very well, but it gives you from this center to this center. Now I know exactly how long this has to be. While it's here, I'm going to actually put a mark right at the peak of the waist, all the way across. Okay, that tells me where the top of the waist would go. So here are our walnut sides. I think they're going to be long enough. We'll find out. Um, and then I can just take the tape, peel it off, and now we have ourselves a template. That is exactly the right length. I, so there's how I know where to bend for. Wow. <laughs> Cannot speak. That's where the waist will go. Yeah. All right, so now I just have to decide whether I'm too chicken to do this yet or not. I think I'm not. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to just go and uh, bend these sides. Whew. Yeah, all right. So the next bit is we need to make sure that I want to make sure I get this book match nice. That. I have to decide um, what I'm looking at is where the bends are in relationship to which side I want out. I think I definitely want this side out. I think, I think definitely, <laughs> maybe kind of, sort of, definitely, possibly, I'm considering, perhaps. Um, 
Make up my mind. Beamer, make up my mind. What am I doing next? We are ready to put this thing in the bending. I'm just stalling now. Can you tell? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to mark where the waist is on this. Where the waist goes on both of these pieces. And if anything, I have extra room here because that's where the neck joint will go, but I want to be careful I don't get too uh, cocky about that. We'll just mark here. And I should be able to see those in the bending machine. And that'll put the curves where I want them. Okay. I'm pretty certain we are ready to go. Alright. Enough dancing around it. No matter what, I want chalky side up, because that'll be the outside of the guitar. Okay, that's good to know. And there's my lines. Okay. Yeah, I think we're ready to do this. I just have to stop being a chicken. Just stop being such a chicken. Yeah, I think we're ready. Um, I'm going to double check the the uh, sanding on these. I want to make sure I have every opportunity to do as much to them while they're flat as I can. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop stalling and I'm gonna bend these damn sides. Here we go. All right. I think I'm ready to do this for real now. I'm gonna get plugged in. And I'm really quickly since it's covered with stuff anyway. Oh. Nope. Okay. It sounded like it came on. It did because the temperature was set to like 70 something. That's funny. So now it's in the 70s. No, it's running hot. Okay. Power off. Um, yeah, it decided to start warming. I was not ready for that. Oh, because it's set to like 260, that's why, okay. Boy, it kicks on right away, so that's something to note. Well, anywho, we are ready to a spritz of this water. Okay, I think we're just gonna do it. I don't see much point in tap dancing around here. Hopefully that cools off enough for me to grab a hold of in a minute. All right, a little spritz. Very little, just to hold the paper down. And then we'll spritz the paper. And then we can just set that, hold that down nicely. Now we can set, watch that. Put the, Make sure I get the chalk side up. I'm going to put a little water on this. Just enough to cover it. Very little water, really. Chalk side up. Make sure I can see my line. Really, really, really quickly going to just chalk this line so I can look from that side. Put it on there. Like so. A little more soaking of this one. Like so. And then our two layers of foil. Set that down nice. Make sure we're arranged decently here. A little sandwich is sandwiched. Blanket goes next. And then the top skin goes last. And then we take the whole pile, slide it on in. I'm going to set it there, get a little bit of friction before I try to position it. I think I'm somewhere in this vicinity. See if I can find my chalk lines here. 
Ooh, it's very close. I see the line right there, okay. That's where my line is. Let's make sure I'm aligned nicely here. That seems good. This one seems good. Yep, yeah, seems like we're well aligned. Okay, let the heat begin. I'm gonna go up to about three something. We'll go about 300 here. Next time we'll go about 310, 315. There, okay, so we're going up to 300. While it's on its way up, I'll put the, the calls on here. I'm, I'm gonna do the other ones first. This one here. Like so. This one here like so. Now this one can go here. That's too much springy. There. Come on. There. That. Let's put this one on this side. Oops, easy. Go there. Like so. There. So, all right. Now it's up to 216. I'm going to start pressing it down. Try to get a little bit of more press here. And I'm going to start on this end, work it down. And we're in the 250 range right now. Starting to smoke a little, that's interesting. Okay, this side is nearly at full bend. There. Stay put. And then we'll take this one. I put those in the wrong place is what I did. So now we're in 320. A little slow here. Just hang on to it. We're very close to a full bend already. Just feeling it relax underneath the call is pretty cool. All right, so that's those are there. I got my springs crossed in a weird way, but they're okay now. And we'll drive this down. To make sure we're not cracking. I'm hearing no cracky sounds. That's a good sign. Pulled tight. That's on there pretty good. Oh, we've got quite a loop though. Let's see if I can't push that down a little bit. Yeah, I've got quite a bit of an air spot there. That's a bit problematic in my view. I'm gonna try to do that one again here. See if I can get that a little tighter to the pattern. There. It's better, it's not great. All right, well, so we are now fully bent. Whether I like it or not, we are now fully bent. I'm gonna drop this down to 260. and set it and now this thing's going to coast down to 260. I'm going to give it about 15 minutes to cook and then I'll shut everything off. All right it's been a couple hours it's definitely chilled now. <clears throat> Let's uh, 
<sighs> Let's see what happened. That's promising already. Hmm. It's holding pretty well already. So is that one. That's good. Easy there. I'm scrapping the, scraping the heck out of that arm of mine. All right. Cool. So, so far I'm not seeing any massive trouble. This out. Oop. My string, t my knot came undone. Okay. Now let's peel off all of this mess. So far, so good. And uh, I think, I think we were very successful here. The center of the arch is a, almost perfectly where I asked for it to be, and the figure is just insane. The only part that's annoying is right in here, where I kept trying to get a good bend. It's a little lumpy, but not too bad. That's just barely anything. But, oh, that's pretty damn good already. Let's get the mold and have a look at what the turnout really is. I just knocked a bunch of crap on the floor, I think. Well, let's see how this fits my mold. A little bit of spring, but I got my centers right about where I wanted them. We needed a little bit more, but it's okay where we ended up. That is perfect. Cool. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> no cracking of any sort anywhere that's awesome um it got interesting it's like the grain opened up or something on this side it's prettier on the outside now this side looks denser there's little tension here a little compression in this area this just looks like i think it just got wetter maybe unknown but that is really good i'm gonna put this in the form now while i get ready to bend up the other sides the other side and uh, that way I can keep things, um, what am I trying to say? That way I can keep the shaping, shape decent here while uh, the other one gets bent. Let's do this one next. Let's go a little bit further this way. And we can go a little bit. There we go. And then I can take this guy here and just a squeeze. And this guy I can move up a tiny bit and squeeze it here. I feel like I need to move up even more. Lower than that, maybe it's lower. No, it's not that low. It's right there. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to let that sit in this thing now and relax a bit, or let it do whatever it's got to do here. Um, I'm going to probably. Yeah, that looks fine. Um, I'm going to move this over and we're going to get ready to do the second side. Um, so I'm going to get set up for that and I'll bring you back. Alright, it's been a couple hours now. 
the uh, system is now cold again. So we can just release the release the springs. And we'll see how this side did compared to the other. Let it go. Let it go, let it go. Looks very good. Everything looks promising so far. Some paper. Yes. Oh, that looks good. That looks good, good, good. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Not a split to be found. Very, very good. It's got that same little minor little bumpiness right there, but I can work that out at some point, no problem. Woo do do. Yes. Okay. Now, I hope, among all hopes, that I managed to put this thing together in a way that is <laughs> the proper sides to the proper sides. Okay, let's see how we did here. First, let's check our band air. Yeah, we got about the same. A little overlap on this end. I need to need to come that way a bit more next time I do these. It's fine though. I think that's absolutely okay. Very, very cool. And we got our outsides are outside. And our book matches are book matched beautifully. Oh yes, that is beautiful. Check that out, it looks like a guitar. <laughs> That's awesome, okay. So let's put these things back in the mold. I need to have them sp spreading for a while yet. Um, yeah, that side is not going to go in all the way, but that's okay. I want to, uh, I want to get these guys a chance to relax in their positions that they belong in here. Like this. This side. So very cool. I'm very pleased. I'm going to leave these to sit and rest overnight because they've just been through a heating mess and I don't want to make them angrier than they need to be. Make that one in where it goes there. And then this one can go where it goes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there's a distinct trait between those two. So I've now determined what my, um, I guess the heel inlay is going to have to be at least a half inch wide, it looks like, which is not a shock. That's really good. This came out incredibly well. I am quite pleased. So one guitar shaped bit. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Very cool. I am in, I am ecstatic. I am ecstatic. This is the front. Ah, it looks good. It looks so good. All right. So we're going to take that, leave that sit for an overnight. Let that rest. I think I need to let that rest. I may not need to let it rest, but I'm going to let it rest. So cool. That does this. So bending rig, massive success. Massive success. Very pleased, very happy. That's the most stressful part of this whole thing, I think, for me anyway, is the bends. I've never been a fan, well, I've never, I don't do enough, I don't know if that's true. The bends make me the most worried because that is the single operation in which the entire set that you've worked hard on becomes invalidated. Like. They're book matched for a reason. They're, they're the highest possibility for failure or for issue or the most likely place you're going to have problems. 
is in this bending part and they came out fabulously. And I think I can reuse my craft paper, which is beautiful. Right up my alley for being cheap. Very nice, very pleased. Can I say it more? Yeah, I could say it some more. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. And I'm gonna set these up here and just lay them like that. I'm just gonna sort of attempt to reassemble things a bit and just, uh, and uh, just, um, what am I trying to say, Beamer? I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just gonna reassemble this and figure out a way to store it while that thing rests. Um, next operations are going to be gluing that thing into a box but that's coming. That's going to be a little ways out. I'm going to be a day or so out for that. So, Whew, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. That came out really good. Those look fantastic. And I can, I can make this, make this work no problem. Anyways, looks good. We'll see you on the next one. All right. So it's been a day and they've had a chance to relax a bit. Um, I need to cut the toe or the, the neck end, the fret, the top end, the toe end, I guess that's the toe end. I need to cut these, I need to trim these down a little bit so that they are uh, in line with the, so that they can make a seam is what they need to do. Um, so I'm just going to take a pencil. I've raised it up so that the the general gist of the the form now is center somewhere in the middle of the form of the sides so there's some hanging down so it doesn't twist or can't or anything so I'm just gonna go right where the seam is and make a mark there and then flip it now same thing here just to make sure we're kinda close to where it was before about like that now I can just mark on this one the same spot it actually doesn't matter if it comes a little close, a little short, because the neck will be here anyway, so I'm taking up a lot of room. Now I, can, now I can mark those lines across. This method is fine. We'll just since I have two lines, I can make a straight cut across these two guys. And those actually look reasonably parallel. Okay, one. This one will do the same too. Take a little under a quarter here. Okay. And that will let me cut those. Yeah, okay. So now we've got it clamped more than adequately. Grab our saw, and I may, I may consider a little bit of scoring first, just to uh, sever those grain fibers just a little at least. And then I just stick our saw. Ooh, I'm gonna probably go grab the big saw for this. May need to use the large saw, the long saw for this. Okay. Now I can just hold it against my cheater block and make a very gentle cross cut here. Nothing to it. I do not care about cutting up my bench. It's a bench. And benches get messy. Should be very close here. I probably shouldn't have been hanging out over that dog hole, really. We are nearly done. There it is, and a nice clean slice, which is beautiful, exactly what I wanted. We'll pop this off, 
this one, take a hold of it. And there is our nice clean cut. That came out pretty good. Do the second one now, and uh, we should be ready. So, they're now cut to length, and we can slide them on in. Take this method here. There we go. All right, I think I'm ready for glue. <clears throat> I'm kind of scared, but I'm ready for glue. Here we go. Like it or not, gluing. I better mark those center lines a little better so I can absolutely see them. So when the glue's on, I'm not panicking. All right, here we go. Glue going on. Glue spreading. Don't think you need me to give you the play-by-play. -play. You can see what I'm doing, huh? Glue drying now. Bristles falling off the brush. More spreading. So lame. Okay. Ready or not, you're going to get glued on. Smear a little bit here just to get it to try to smo smoothly seat. Positioning clamp first. Slide you down that way. Like so. Okay. It's going to try to swig wiggle around a little bit, but I think we're okay now. Double checking for squeezing out. There we go. Some squeezing out's happening there. Trying to get good contact all the way around here. And I think now that I see that I've got the room, I'm going to slip a... Oh, maybe I don't have the room. I don't. All right. Uh, we'll try. No, I think it's fine. I'm going to leave it like that and let that glue set up. And then we'll do the heel block after this. Double check that I've got hanging out all the way around. I do. Good. So. One side is glued. Woohoo! Okay, so I'm waiting for the top, the neck block to finish drying to, in the body area. So I'm working on a few more bits that we need um, on the body top and back. So on the top, I need to put a little bit of reinforcement around the sound hole. That's this little strip. And then I've also got to do some reinforcements of the book match seam on the back side. And so I'm just going to use this to cut uh, a few strips out to use for that. Oh, that doesn't work on those. Those have to be long grain. I need to get side grain this way. So we're going to work out a straight line here somewhere, and um, I might use the other piece for it. But we basically want to do cross grain on that so that it helps to keep the top or the back seam from splitting open. So bring you back here when I figure out where I'm going to get, from what I am going to get the cross strapping for. All right, so I went and grabbed a few bits that are cross grain here that I should be able to fill in and then this this piece for the sound hole area. Um, what I'm going to do is I need to, I want to bevel the edge of this. I want to do the bevel before I, uh, before I um, cut it to length. And so Okay, so right now we're ready to do the bracing around the sound hole. So I've just got these little spots I've got to take care of. I've got to cut pieces to fit, so I'm just going to lay them over the braces, lay the plastic over the braces, 
then take my little strip and I'm just going to mark out where I need to cut and then we'll take it over to the vise and slice off pieces um, and hopefully get things to fit nicely so these should be easy because they're just one to one so I'm just going to get after it and uh, we'll bring you back in a sec. Cool, that worked really well. So we've got our reinforcing bits. I'll get those glued on shortly. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the tail block on the body taken care of now, since that's had enough time to chooch. So I'm gonna move you over there. Hey, dry fit was good already. So I'm, I am full of uh, confidence now. I'm gonna just grab my new brush, my previous brush here. And, uh, we are ready to go after this glue with glue as well. So I think yeah, you can see. Okay, you glue it, it, and then just spread like I did the last time. Easy peasy. This is a fairly simple. I mean, it's a contoured glue up, but it's. I mean, once you've got the fit right, which does take some doing. It's a fairly simple process. We just got to get enough clamping pressure in the right places. Try to keep the brush bristles out of your out of your joinery if you can help it. And try to avoid adding bristles as you're trying to remove one. Okay. So this little guy gets slid around in here for a bit. I'm just going to hang on to it just a second here. Try to get a little bit of the, uh, the thing to self stick a bit. So come in here with this clamp there. It's a little, a little high. Like so, and I'm going to put another one on this side while I maneuver the other two into position as well. Okay, so this guy can go here, can go here. There's going to be enough um, space that I can get a parallel clamp down in there too, so. I'm not too terribly concerned about the center yet. I'm more concerned about making sure that these ends fit the curve properly. That looks good. And then this last one can go right there. And then I think I can maneuver in a parallel clamp right there in between them. In fact, I'm going to go for two if I can. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. Like that. And like this. There we go. That is as chooched as I can possibly get it. We'll be, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna get in there and take out some of that squeeze out real fast with a scrap of, that'll do, with a small scrap of wood. this there I'm 
That got a little messy. Ugh, making a mess now. There we go. There we go. That's fine. All right. Well, let that one chooch now and do its thing. And uh, pretty, 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 pretty good. So far, so good. All right. There we go.